I wish to demonstrate editing the code that generates a particular voxel type after getting the code out of the voxel and looking at it I wish to change the code and create code for a new voxel which I then res or instantiate and draw into the world and the tool I will be showing you the editing tool is in an early stage of development and um, one has to do certain things by hand which will be hidden from the eventual end user um, and done by machine Things like file names, module names, that kind of thing. Okay, so this is the voxel we are going to be looking at the code of. The sphere, the, the large orange sphere, tiger lily sphere with the green subspheres. And here I am drawing it at will. And I will draw it overhead. And then I will hit the key B and bring up over in my blue bottle window the code that generates that voxel. Now I am about to replace this well first of all I'm about to take out that code which is useless. Now I'm going to change the name of the file to Nanani. This is one of the pieces of machinery that won't affect the end user because he'll never see it. But for my present purposes, I need to give it a name and save it. And Nanani is as good a name as any. And I replace this number with Nanani because I'm going to name the module Nanani. But this will be hidden in the end. Having done this, I go to the code that I wish to modify and this for loop is the one that draws the little green dots the, the draws the green smaller spheres and draws a hundred of them you can see so I'm going to change it to drawing a thousand additional spheres of each color and I'm going to drink the much smaller spheres each will be 1 27th in each dimension of the entire cube. Well, actually, let's not worry about what those numbers stand for right now. Star is the large orange sphere that's being drawn into the little spheres. And now I compile that. And having compiled, I prepare to res it into the world. But it occurs to me that I want to see in the kernel log the message that says it's being resed. So here I res it. Run the command, and it draws a bunch of stars. Those are that's just debugging output. And in fact, it res it says resing Nanani. Now, resing means that it instantiates it as the voxel that we have on our mouse to draw with. So, since we haven't drawn anything yet, it is invisible. Ah, there it is underground. There it is. And see how much smaller the little spheres are, and how multicolored they appear, and how they twinkle, and seem to mock us. Well... Now, the importance of this tool can be, can hardly be overstated. What it has done is replaced Oberon's module-based type inheritance, module-based and object-based 
inheritance hierarchy with a and I might be criticized for this decision because it might be criticized as selfish <coughs> that's a joke um, yes it is like I replaced that hierarchy with us for the voxels and the voxel code a user editable in world without stopping the world um, prototype based inheritance but not prototype based on prototypes that can change, but prototype based on copying of source code. And um, because of this, it will not be necessary for it, it will not be necessary for a user who wishes to modify code and create new voxel types to learn about a bunch of type hierarchies for code that exists in the project that he possibly doesn't have permissions to modify. It's not necessary. There will be a limited set of modules always imported into these anonymous modules. And uh, so my tale is done.